Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go. We are ready. So your energy is Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, your person's energies, Eight of Swords, Sun, Major Arcana, Judgment, Nine of Wands, Meeting Energies, Six of Cups, Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, Our Focus, Two of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, Nine of Swords, Anxiety, Monkey Mind. A lot of questions and doubts. This can be a person from the past for some of you guys. Yes, someone that went away. But the Eight of Cups can even happen again, you know? Because it is not said that uh, there can be a second chance for this connection. Forgiveness, we got it, this person can ask for it, let go, kind of the same concept that we can associate to what the man in the Ten of Wands should do at some point, opportunity, this person can say that there can be the opportunity to try again, Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. This card describes perfectly this person. Healing heart, and this can be about some of you. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. This can be a desire. The odds do not seem to be in favor of that, to be honest, guys. Um, so this can be an ex, a former lover, uh, that can come back. Asking for a new chance, uh, they can say that they still love you, guys. That they are sorry for how things went between the two of you they can say that the connection with you can represent for them a source of happiness the sun at the same time they know that there is not much that they can do in order to impress you guys the eight of swords can be a stuck mentality you know especially if it is influenced by the nine of swords this person can play the card of the surprise effect, you know. They can also hope for memories to be in their favor, but you can be super cautious. Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Protection Mode, Better Safe Than Sorry, when this person reaches out, Page of Pentacles, small token, let's say, small way to interact with each other. The Page of Wands follows along. The Queen of Wands can be about the passion that this person may still have for you guys. This is also an energy that can describe some of you, especially because of the Queen of Swords energy. So, super rational, extremely intelligent, brilliant mind. Uh, the Queen of Swords knows what, what she wants. The same we can say about the Queen of Wands. She is intuitively guided. Some of you can say, look, uh, water under the bridge, you know. It's done. Uh, the ship has already sailed. And now, if I think about the opportunity to be 
uh, together with you, speaking about this person, some of you can say, I feel um, uncomfortable, you know? The connection represents a source of fatigue and I just want to let go of it in order to move on. That's why the Eight of Cups can manifest uh, one more time. The Moon, from the Moon to the Sun, so uh, this person can break silence out of the blue, major surprise for some of you guys, hang the man, they know that it's a stuck situation, meaning that the hanged man is an uncomfortable position. Um, they may desire to be with you, but they also know that it can be super difficult for them to be successful. Five of Wands. This can be about what happened between the two of you, if we think about a competition game, may be influenced by um, desire, passion, flirtatious approaches that maybe were not ideal. This is also an energy about inner conflict. This person can be a conflicted one. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, uh, plus the heavy energy uh, coming from the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. The only thing that can be clear for them is the desire to try again with you, but we know that the Two of Cups is an energy about sharing love, emotions and feelings and it has to be a two-way street. And maybe, maybe um, you were in love with this person in the past, but now it seems that, uh, it seems that the situation is different. Star. Where is your star? Page of Wands, recurrent energy, Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So, quite interesting as a combination, guys, because the Two of Wands is a soulful decision. So, what are you going to say uh, when this person offers a new chance? The Three of Pentacles can be like a topic, you know? Can you see a real chance to work things out with them considering what happened between the two of you and the star is an energy about yes I wish granted but it is not said that um, your wish is still in this connection with this person because you already went separate ways in the past and so maybe a chapter was indeed uh, closed, the word. Plus, there is a contrast between the Four of Pentacles, extremely protective energy, let's say, and the star, which is open 100%. Maybe some of you can doubt the opportunity to trust this person at the 100%. Eight of Wands, mm, communication, they can reach out, Cupid's, Cupid's arrows, arrows of love, yes, they can say that uh, they still love you. Seven of Pentacles, time factor, a window of time when it comes to the separation stage was involved, that's why I was saying water under the bridge. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, some of you guys in particular can say that um, you are extremely busy. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles can be about work, professional endeavors, memories. Yes, yes, they can be involved, but maybe they are not enough to justify the decision to try again. And we see one more time the Nine of Wands, which can be in common um, we had it for your person, now we see it one more time, so it seems that the first separation was a disappointing event uh, for the two of you. Now, now I have to say that if we follow these energies, um, this person is kind of dreaming 
about the opportunity to be with you uh, one more time, but it seems difficult. You can even grant your forgiveness in their favor on an energy level. It can even be a proof that you took the higher road 100%, but this is not... Um, this is not something that can force you guys to be together with this person one more time, you know? So there can be an evaluation, Seven of Pentacles driven, but the Six of Swords is super quiet. Uh, crickets, basically. And this person knows that it can be difficult for them to be successful because there can even be something that they are not willing to say or to admit if we think about the moon uh, something that may not be clear, something that can be different from how it seems the Six of Cups can even describe a connection that in the past uh, was shared between um, two young persons then it didn't work, now the two of you can be a little bit older um, hopefully more mature but despite the passion that can play a role meaning there is the chance that you can still like each other when it comes to the physical side uh, the Queen of Swords is not going to settle for a connection that is not the one that she is looking for and the Queen of Wands follows along as a concept about a healthy self-confidence that's why guys it seems that for some of you there can be the opportunity to make once again a point that was already shared in the past this chapter is basically closed and there is no going back and this person will have to accept that and move on like some of you are willing to do so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye